So I got a, about a week left here to go in March. And I think I'm going to move on to my next step in my POA project. What I've been messing around with is just trying to see how much actual grass I have left versus what is all POA, which I think the middle of my yard is pretty much 100%. And so I've just been messing around with this manual dethatching rake out here, just seeing how much of the POA will come out. Um, and then I'm going to hit it with my actual automatic dethatcher here in a little bit. And that'll let me decide whether or not I just need to start brand new with an entire new lawn and kill everything and reseed. I'm still probably about six weeks out before I can put down new seed without worrying about frost. But kind of just to show you right here where there's, that was 100% POA with my manual rake. It just kind of turns into bare dirt. And then over here, which is not all POA, it's a, a mixture of the two. I manually raked that and it's still, you know, 80% grass. So if you want to see kind of what the manual rake does, because Poe's roots are so shallow, it pretty much comes up and leaves the, the other Kentucky bluegrass and ryegrass and fescue that was already in there. But this is pretty much all Poe right here. And you can see It's just ripping, ripping out easy because those roots are so thin. It did rain a little bit last night, so the soil's a little bit soft. So I think I may break out the, the thatcher here now. And let's just see how much of the poa we can get out. But I mean, the root systems are so shallow on these that uh it kind of just pops all right out so we'll uh we'll see what it looks like after a a good dethatching okay just to kind of show you the dethatcher i'm going to use this is the still yard boss uh, mm55 i think and it's just got these spring loaded tines on the front there that uh, kind of lightly get down in there if you walk backwards with it it'll be much more aggressive which I am not gonna do this this time I'm just gonna go forward kind of slowly um, a couple other attachments there is a actual uh, ground tiller there with some really thick nasty blades if you want to, to till deeply and then this was a aerator attachment. Um, it comes with four of these each. And I tried it, but it just doesn't get down. It probably only gets down maybe like an inch in the soil, which those core aerators are much better for, for your grass. So I haven't used it a whole lot, but that is what's coming up next. <laughs>
Okay, so this is what it looks like after I got done dethatching. And I did quite a bit of damage, which I expected, because most of that is just loose poa grass seed in the middle there, so. It actually almost looked like I tilled it, and I'm ready to plant some corn in the middle, but no, I'm ready to plant some tall fescue, but. And you can kind of see over here on the sides where I actually have real grass. It didn't uh, dig up that much. But where the poa was definitely tore it all up. So I'm going to have to come out here with a rake. Rake it all up. And that's going to be the biggest probably manual labor part of this project is just uh, raking stuff up. I may leave this for a couple days just to kind of dry out and then I can throw it in my trailer and it won't be so heavy. And uh, I also have two teenage boys which they may, may be helping me with this too. The one thing I am worried about is I probably stirred up a billion of the poa seeds from the last couple years with the dethatcher just stirring stirring around so i'm sure those are going to enjoy this environment and i'm going to be battling them for years to come but this is man versus poa and i will win so this is how much poa and other thatch that i pulled out of my backyard here this dark stuff here was it and it's heavy oh, I'm kind of waiting for it to evaporate a little bit then we'll take it to the dump and then this is what normal thatch is supposed to look like this is coming out <coughs> my front yard over here I just dethatched that now I'm mowing up all the the thatch that comes out I usually do that in the spring and in the fall and that is much lighter, but we did a whole lot of poa removal in the back. All right, here is the aftermath of my dethatching process, and overall, I think it did really good. Uh, by no means do I think all of the poa is out, but I got quite a bit of it out. The, the uh, power to Thatcher just kind of loosened everything up and then I actually went over everything with my my uh, rake here and it actually worked really good especially the kind of this curved side right here which doesn't dig in as deep uh, that thing just kind of ripped all that loose po out of there so you can see this is where I kind of thought the bulk of it was is in the middle of my yard where it's just basically down to bare dirt right now but i'm very happy that i didn't put roundup on everything because i would have had to basically till all that dead grass up and take it away anyway so the poa was probably about 30 or 40 percent of my entire yard and so now it's the beginning of April and I got about another month and a half before my soil warms up enough. I think the soil temperatures here are about 40 degrees, slowly climbing. It still gets really cold at night, so I'm not going to risk throwing seed down before it gets up into the 50s or so. And I'm going to try to use some turf type tall fescue that I got from GCI and I do watch uh, his videos and I know he's out east and in a much different climate than mine but I actually looked at the seed blend that he uses and they're all they're three different cultivars from Oregon which is just a few hours from here and so I, I figured that if it can grow there it should be should be good out here and I'm still very happy that I you know didn't spend a ton of 
money and time trying to resod this thing or uh, even kill it all and, and restart anew. I know some of you may say that the new seed is going to look a whole lot different than the, the grass that's already in here and I'm okay with that. You know, I'm again, I'm not gonna let great get in the way of good. I'm just out here, my dogs are gonna pee on it. It's gonna have more poa pop up in it. So it's not gonna be perfect. So that's kind of how I'm rolling with this right now. And we'll see, maybe next year, uh, maybe a, a much different project if, it, if this doesn't work out. But I got a 45 pound bag of seed, so I, I may even try to reseed this in the fall again too i did put dimension out here this past fall just to try to prevent the the poa from germinating and it may have done that a little bit but just over the next month or so i'm going to keep an eye on what pops up and i may do a little bit of manually uh ripping it out again and maybe even some spraying if i if i can't use that but I prefer to to not go that route so if you guys want to see my seeding project coming up here in about a month or so give me a subscribe and you can check it out thanks for watching